Yo, well, Guan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install XLN plugins real quick. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for creatives and musicians that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, this is the place to be. You might wanna hit that subscribe button. Let's just get right into it, I guess. Um, these are the guys, the bad boys that make RC color as well as a bunch of other products. And now we've just gone over here. Here's the products. You've got addictive drums, addictive keys, addictive effects, addictive trigger. These will be things that I will be covering over on the channel. But before we do that, I've got to install them, right? And you may have gotten to this point, you've purchased a plugin from these dudes and you're thinking, how do I get this in my DAW? How do I get this in FL Studio, Logic, all that sort of stuff? Very, very simple. First, you need to go to my account, go to view my account. And when you are viewing your account, I gotta make sure to blur this. You gotta go over the right hand side and you'll see your products at where you can view all of them, register your product key or go to download excellent online installer. Now press this button and you'll get taken to this installation guide page. And on this page, you will see a video that basically walks you through the installer, but I, I might as well do that since we're here already. Let's show you everything that goes on and show you how to get this set up in FL Studio specifically. So first off, you wanna click this big green button, of course, that says download Windows Online Installer. If you're on Mac, you wanna download Mac OS Online Installer. That would probably be best for you. Now, after you do that, as you can see, it's come in a zip file. So I'm gonna show in folder, which is basically gonna take me to where this has downloaded, which should be my downloads and yes it is in my downloads wow i had gigabytes of stuff in my downloads that's not good so here we have my downloads now what i want to do is press right click and extract here now what this should do is give me the exe file which is the most important file and it's saying extract all files before installing which i believe i did just do that all files, yeah. So don't run the installer from the zip file. Make sure that you've installed, I mean, you've extracted everything and then use the installer. I believe uh, my system is 64 bits. So we're gonna go with that exe and install that. And basically I'm assuming at this point you just wanna run through the installer. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then after I've run through the installer, I'm gonna show you the, the extra steps that you'll need to do in order to get your plugins to show up in FL Studio. And that's really, really important. So make sure you stick through to the end. So first we need to install the installer. <laughs> and then after we've installed the installer, we should be able to start installing some plugins. I do believe we will have to sign in or log in with our XLN account. So make sure you have those DLs ready to go. Okay, the installer has installed, I believe, and now it should be popping up. Here we are. So now we need to enter our DLs, which I'll do right now. So then we're gonna enter our name for this specific PC. So I'm gonna call that main PC. So we register this computer. I'm sure I can register on more than one computer, but I'm not sure what the limit on that exactly is. So we've updated the excellent installer. You can run it to install or update everything. And basically we want to install everything right about now. I want to install the, the drums, the keys, EXO, and especially RC20. That's the first thing I'm going to play with. And basically, it says this requires 3.3 gigabytes on C. Do I want this to all be downloaded into C? I mean, not really. Looking at my current space on my PC, I've got 48 gigs left on C. I kind of want this to be on D because that is something, that's basically my main secondary drive. So in order to do that, we can go to advanced and then we can choose the new path over here. 
and we can just go to D and I'm going to create a new folder called XLN and we're going to click OK over there there we go and apply and then we're basically just going to choose this for every other plugin that we've got to deal with because we want everything to be grouped in in one specific place i don't just want to apply it to you know d and not create a, a folder in there if you do that things can get really messy really quick so make sure you actually create a new folder if you don't want everything to be on C. If you do want everything to be on C, then you won't have to do this at all. Like if you've got a bunch of memory, you won't have to worry about this. Now we can change the path of the VSTs. I do believe I have a VST section over here. So since we've already, you know, started moving everything over here we might as well move the vst path over here as well it just keeps everything in the same place so it's easier to find if we want to find you know the xln plugins uh let me go vst not xln there we go apply that oh ah okay it's already in use for the 32 plugins so I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> I'm going to leave it where it usually is. Hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. I doubt it will, but we're just going to leave that on. And wow, it needs 888 MB on C. Oh my God. You know, we, we actually can't leave that over there. That's a, that's a lot of memory, man. I don't really want to give all this memory up. So let's put this. Let's create another VST place. Let's, actually, let's not do that. Uh, can we delete anything from here? So we're going to D. We'll make new folder. We'll rename this folder VST64. And we'll click off it and click back on it. We'll apply that and we'll close this. And now it should be, everything should go straight to D. Huh, I guess I still need to install 888 MB on C regardless. So make sure you have that amount to <laughs> install your plugins. Um, but you're probably not installing the exact same plugins as me, so just make sure you have some memory on C, like if you if you're gonna do this. So this is gonna take like 15 to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna let that run and I'll be back in a minute. See you soon. All right, so I am back in the time that this was installed. I ordered up some Nando, so it's happy days all around. Let's click OK. And now, as you can see, everything is installed. Now, all we need to do is load up FL Studio and make sure that we can start using our XLN plugins through FL Studio. And this is how you're gonna be able to do that. So I'm not even gonna open one of my templates, which I would usually do. I wouldn't just use this, whatever FL Studio tries to use over here. I'd go to manage plugins and here's where you'll be able to see all the plugins that are available for you now if you had just allowed all the plugins to go straight to you know C then you'd be pretty fine but since I have moved my stuff to D we actually need to search that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new folder and we're gonna go to the new VST folder that I've made because my other one's already loaded up in FL Studio. It's already something that's gonna be searched. Huh, it's not under the 
forward slash VSTs, which it should be. Let's actually add that because that might make things search quicker than going through the entirety of D. But now we can quickly look through and see if we see our plugins, which we do not, it's not there, not there. So we do have to actually scan. So what we'll do here is we'll click find plugins up here. And as you saw, I added those two folders. So it will search these folders and we do not want to rescan previously verified plugins or rescan plugins with errors because that will just take ages. <laughs> And you don't want to do that because that'll go through all the plugins that you've already installed and you don't want to re-scan those, those and go through that again. So I'm going to let this scan. I'm not sure how long that's going to take, but I'll probably cut out some footage right here and get straight to it because this usually isn't done. Well, it seems to be doing it relatively quickly, but I don't know how long it's going to take to search D. So I'll be back in a second. That took a little while. Not gonna lie but here we are and as you can see we've already got new plugins over here and all we need to do is click this star button on the left side of our new plugins all the new ones will be marked in orange so it's pretty easy for you to find and locate the new plugins that you need to get in here and it did search both the 34 and 64 bit versions i believe i've clicked all of these now yeah, okay, beautiful. So now you've done that, all you need to do is click X on that. And then if we go to our channel rack, we'll be able to bring in addictive keys, for example. So we can use all our effects and plugins within FL Studio now. And if we wanted to bring in RC20, well, I like that mid tone. I like those mid tones, cuz. But well, this, <laughs> regardless, let's put this on track number one. If we wanted to get an RC20, then obviously we'd come to the inserts, and here we can grab RC20 and fling that on there. And as you can see, it's up and running. So that is how you get your XLN plugins up and running, installed and working in FL Studio 20. Let's actually hear this. Those are some whack chords, don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all you really need to know. I hope this video has helped you out. Question of the day is what XLN plugins do you currently have? What XLN plugins are you thinking of getting? Let me know so hopefully I can get them and review them on the channel and let you know if you should get this plugin or not. Or let me know of the ones that are really, really good and really working for you. Let me know what kind of genre you're using them in. So maybe I can look into them and see if that's worth recommending to the rest of my audience. So if that's worth me using, let me know in the comment section down below. And in the next video, you're gonna learn more about music production, online business, and online marketing. So definitely stick around for that. If you haven't got these plugins, there'll be a link in the description for you to go and and grab your XLN plugins, just go to jcarteray.com forward slash XLN. And if you want to get 10 free loops, link in the description as well. Go to jcarteray.com forward slash free loops. That's where it's at. B, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.